Hey there everyone, so uh, this is Rick and I've got another update on the 48 inch mill project and today we're going to talk about shrink links and what part they played in fastening some of the parts together for, uh, for this rolling mill engine. So as you can see here, this engine is made with the bed plate in two halves. You have this, the rear half there with the main bearings and you have the uh, half here that the, um, that the cylinder is attached to. And how they used to attach these big pieces together was through the use of what they call shrink links. So you see this oval opening here in the, uh, in the castings, and they're all, they're all through here. They're down across. There's one on this side. They're on both sides, and I believe there's something like 27 of them all told between both halves. And how these work is that you take these pieces here, which are the links themselves, and so this dimension here between this surface and this surface at room temperature is about a sixteenth of an inch shorter than that corresponding distance between here and here. And then so you would take this link and when you're ready to put it in and you heat it up and if you heat that thing up to about 600, 700 degrees, it will expand by about an eighth of an inch in length. And then you can take it and it'll just drop right in place here and then as it cools down it'll squeeze itself together. It'll squeeze this joint together as tight as can be and it's in there it's in there for all eternity until you heat it up and try to pull it back out this is how this one here this engine was put together and it's also how the uh, uh, the flywheel halves on the Todd engine are put together although in that one in that case they look like dog bones so next weekend uh, this upcoming Saturday uh, we're planning on installing the four shrink links in the flywheel on the Todd engine and I hope to get some video of that and talk a little bit about that project um, and what, it, we're, what I'm doing here on this one here getting getting ready what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take these alignment bolts back out and then we're gonna put the rear uh, bed plate on skates and then slide it back enough so that we can get in here and uh, clean up this uh, this joint and uh, stone it and get it ready to go get all the dirt out from in there and then uh, skate the uh, bed plate back into position put these bolts back in get everything lined up and then uh, go about heating up these shrink links and getting them installed and put in so out of the 27 links we are missing I think like seven or eight of them that um, when they tore this apart they couldn't pull them out and they cut them so we're gonna have to make new ones um, and we'll we'll make them out of plate burnouts and uh, then machine them to size uh, these are all wrought iron they were actually uh, you know made out of uh, wrought iron square bar folded around and then forge welded together I th one of them I, I found that you can still see with a forge weld uh, on it, but uh, we're going to do it the modern way, take a piece of plate, burn out the outside, machine the inside, machine it to the right side so that we can heat it up and fit it into place. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on here on this? Well, um, we're going we're gonna to shift gears a little bit from working on the mill itself to uh, cleaning up uh, the engine castings and you know, getting getting the links in and all that, and then getting the engine castings in the, in the final location, and then moving in here to get the uh, the distance piece back there in place and get all the pieces in the middle. So I think we're going to get that done here before we do too much work on the mill itself. So what I'm really doing here with the shrink link, so you'll see some of these have the, these pieces of plate welded on them. So when the riggers tore the uh, machine apart. 
uh, with taking them, take them apart, they just welded these pieces on to make it easier for them to pull the links out. So they'd heat them up and then just attach a chain to it and pop them right out. So I'm going through and then cutting all that stuff back off since it shouldn't be there and then getting the links uh, cleaned up and ready to go. So um, as we go through, um, they all have, all the all the all the locations are numbered. So there's there's a number three right there, and so I've been marking the numbers on them wherever I can find them. Some of them don't have numbers. Um, we have two. Oh, these right here, they're both numbered six, and so you'd think, well, maybe one is six and one is nine. Well, however, the slot for which would be the number nine is actually marked zero and it's a larger size so if you go by progression it starts with number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then rest of the way around so that one would be number nine but it's marked zero and neither of these would work because they're it's the smaller size and not not the not the not the bigger one so I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So, all right, everyone. Well, just wanted to give you that little update on what's going on, and uh, I'll talk with you later on.